All right, guys, welcome to episode 115 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget. Hit the notification bell, man. Hit the notification bell. Hit that you know what I'm saying? Man. My dog almost My fucking <laughs> calls up again. Nah, no, bitch, I was expecting I pointed at you, bro. Yo. You were supposed to pick it up, and you just fucking looking at me. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what it was. I thought something happened, bro. Yeah, nah, bro. We here, though. We here. We back. We back. We love y'all, man. We, we back. Episode 115. How we feeling today, man, it's Thursday. It's fucking Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> week's almost over. Didn't fuck up saying it this time. Bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last fuck. time I had a fucking stroke saying week's almost over. Holy shit. Nah. <laughs> nah, fucking uh, yeah, bro. Nah, but listen, light your J, light, light your blunt, up. pack your bomb, pack your bowl, get your dad bridge ready, your fucking edibles, whatever it is you do, man. We rock with it. You light know what it I'm up, saying? light it up. We got some Trulies over here too, man. I don't know if y'all fuck with them, but I fuck with them. We've been man. drinking them lately. Yeah, we've been drinking them a little bit here and there. They're they're healthier than beers. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. I mean, I feel like beers a little bit more like. Uh, yeah, it gets, I don't know. It bloats you up more. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it does. It bloats you up a little bit. I'd rather have like a like actual liquor, like actual liquor in my shit. You know? Yeah, I like I stop drinking liquor like that. But if I do, am gonna have liquor. I'd rather have a shot than like mix it with something soda or like juice. Like it's just healthier to drink it straight up. That's true. That's you know true. What I'm saying? Yeah, man. but listen, man, it's crazy, guys. Listen, I'm gonna get right into it. We ain't going. We ain't here to play today. All right, my dog don't got on orange. It's fucking peach. That's Yo. number one. Yo. Number two, we out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I, had to get dog- the, <laughs> I had to get the drip the fuck out, bro. My I dog was... got the Reebok and Reebok. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, nah, had... stand up for them. Stand nah, up for them on, one time. Not dead ass. Stand up for them one time, bro. One time, bro. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me get. Let, let him get it from the bite. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my dog got the Reebok and Reebok. That shit fresh though. That ass, like hey, all just the same. Hey, bro, I appreciate it, bro. It was it, you know, people just don't like Reebok nowadays. I don't yeah, know, bro. Uh, it's just the fat. It's like, oh, it's not fucking Louis and fucking Nike like yeah, collab. So I've been not. rocking Reebok since fucking shit since I was like in high school, bro. Like sophomore year, I used to have the Iverson questions and then uh, the Iverson answers as well with the zipper. Remember the little zipper? Yeah, yeah, bro. That yeah. it was a different time for fucking fashion back then. I I remember the Reebok classics. We couldn't ever afford them, but I remember like wanting them bitches. I got yeah. them when I was older. I was able to buy them myself and shit. But my daughter said wanted just, them. Yeah, I wanted them. Like, one, <laughs> like one. I wanted them. Wanted, wanted. I wanted the fucking Reeboks when I was a kid, bro. I was like, oh shit. My dog's fucking lit. He's fucked up today, guys. Yo, we lit. We he lit. had a fucking rough week. Nah. Thursday, he's fucking. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm back at it again. <laughs> no, I was kidding, bro. Nah, bro. But that ass, bro. I just wanted to get into this whole Tory Lane situation, guys. Um, I don't know how the fuck y'all feel about it. Y'all could go down in the comments, let us know. But in my personal opinion, I think that he's fucking innocent. And if he wasn't, he'd be in jail right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they would have came arrested him. That's a pretty high-profile case and shit. And I feel like not only is he innocent, bro, but he's been dropping fucking heat, bro. Tory Lane. Like, that nigga's been dropping fucking heat, bro. And without no help. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, by, like, other, like, supporters that were that were supporting him. But a lot of people dropped him because of that situation yeah. with Megan, Megan the Stallion and shit. Yeah, bro. Like, that, that situ- a situation like that will fuck up your whole life, man. Like one one situation, but what I feel like the truth eventually comes to light, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, will the justice system do what it's supposed to do? We'll see. But it's like I I don't think that he fucking did something with him being free a year and a half later. You know what I'm saying? It's like I, I don't like know something's I, off. I bro. feel like he was getting set up. He might be, bro. And if that's the case, the industry owes that motherfucker an apology. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't need nobody apparently because this motherfucker got his own team. He got his own label. Like yeah, he got bro. his own shit. But it, it still hurts you. Trust. Like yeah. he he's managing through and he's letting niggas know fuck y'all. But yeah. it's like trust me, bro. If he, he can still money. be on po- on Spotify, Spotify. If he can still be on Spotify, <laughs> if he can still be on certain shit, trust, bro. Like he would fucking like it's different. It's different. Your your bag would hit different. Your tours would hit different. But. Hey man, we'll see. We'll see. I just, I just know, bro. He's been dropping fucking heat lately, bro. And I gotta give a round of applause. Yeah, bro. fucking Tory Lanez, bro. That's my he's fucking. A, to me, he's goaded. He's one of the newer guys that's goaded. He's like a newer T Pain. 
Nah, he's Tory Lanez. Yeah, he and is. And that's the thing about it. Yeah, like, but with the, I meant with like the auto tune and shit. Like, I just feel like he has that like. <laughs> He's in there. He's in there with the auto tune. I same. feel like he, like he just got it, bro. He, he got, got it. He though. got fucking talent. Like, yeah, he uses auto tune and yeah. T Pain originated that. But it's like, besides that, it's like he he's different, bro. Because like the chicks tapes, I'm telling you, bro. You listen to all them chicks tapes, bro. It's different, man. Like, <laughs> bless you, bro. Thanks. All them chicks tapes, like that's where you really get like his best work at. You know what I'm saying? And. He's got some fucking work. The Chicks Tape 5, the last one that he dropped, bro. Go listen to that, bro. You're going to be like, Yeah, when he when he fuck? did all the throwbacks and shit like that. I don't know. I think it was a Pink Album. Yeah, Remember yeah. That? That's yeah. five. Yeah. That's five. Yeah, that shit went hard, bro. That shit's stupid. All of them. Uh, chicks Tapes 1 and 2 is hard, too. I'm sprung. How she got me. Got Damn. me doing things. Bro, we can't me. sing, but y'all get the fucking yeah. picture. Yeah, you know what bro. I'm saying? Like that, them were different times, bro. I remember the um, spring days, the bartender days. Yo, I really want. Yo, I, yo, I, I, I T Pain wondering. was getting got by these bitches. Yeah, and, who, <laughs> and singing by them. And what was sprung? <laughs> like I didn't know what sprung was when I was a kid. I was like, "What the fuck does this mean?" But I like it. You know what I mean? I want to be T Pain, bro. I remember that. Shit I just remember, the- like it was. The, yeah, <laughs> first off, that wasn't T Pain. <laughs> it was T Pain. I don't think T Pain is the one that started that. Yeah, he, like did. He, he did it, but I don't think he's. he's I'm gonna <laughs> day, I'm gonna buy you a drink. He did it in that song. He did it in that song, but he he didn't stop that. He I think he did. That shit. Nah, bro. Did, I'm did he sure. start that? Nah, bro. Know. Y'all go down in the comments and let us know. But I'm pretty sure it was like a group of guys that were like fucking doing it. With like, oh. a, you remember the white? You up in my white? There's some shit. I, it wasn't him. Yo, though. in my white. But it was a dance. It was like one of these TikTok dances that everybody starts doing. It was one of those dances back then. Like yeah. he just did it in his video, but he didn't start it, bro. Like, yeah. But regardless, bro, T Pain is goat. Like he's a fucking goat. That nigga, that nigga makes great music. But Tory Lanez, to me, bro, he's just man. Listen. It's different. It's different. Like, he makes really great music, bro. Like, if y'all haven't fucking checked him out, y'all fucking should. That's check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Check but him listen, out. man, you know who I needed to check out real quick was fucking Ivan. I need to check Ivan's temperature. <laughs> yo. <laughs> fucking Ivan, yo. This guy's a piece of shit. I'm going to let you guys know right now. This guy always calls me a fucking asshole, right? But but you know what? Nah, He's an listen. asshole. You hey, know look, what this guy I've done, did? I've done some grimy shit in my life nah, unintentionally. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, he's a piece of shit. This guy fucking... <laughs> He fucking, bro, we, we used to work at a warehouse, bro, right? We used to work at a warehouse, and we used to sweat our fucking balls off. snitch on me in front of the whole fucking world. We used, and we, bro, it don't matter no more. We out that bitch. Actually, he left that bitch, to be exact. To, to, long story no, short. Out. Long no. story short, he left this bitch, and he promised to me to pay this motherfucker back. He said, no, I'm taking your phone, and I'm out. And Ivan, Ivan was like, you know what? Ivan wasn't even mad about it. Bro. Ivan was like... Bro, he was trying to finesse a finesse. Yeah, right? yeah. That's, that's what, what the was fuck trying, it was. Yeah. And he was, he was trying to just finesse a finesse. He, he got finesse. It's a fucked up phone, but I think he ended up dropping it. Nah, yeah, no, that was the phone that I ended up <laughs> smashing in fucking half. Oh, that's the reason why you got a new phone. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. That was the reason I got his phone. Yep. But nah, I don't know what ha- I think I kept that phone for a while, to be honest. Yeah. It was a straight phone. Damn. But- <laughs> I'm thinking this shit broke. It was a piece of shit phone. Nah, nah, it was all right. He so he only wanted like sixty bucks or some stupid shit for it. It was some stupid amount of money, like dumb low. Damn. Like, it was just like, bro, nah. I was going through my own shit, nigga. I, I, I had to move two hours away and shit. Like it was like, like I told you personally off camera. Like that was one of the worst times of my life for real, bro. Like I had to change my life or go back to certain shit I didn't want to be fucking doing. So I had to leave. Like. It was one of those things where, like, I'm leaving by this weekend, bro. Like, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I got to go try to try to change my life for real. Dead ass. For real. But, but nah, I haven't listened. I fucking love you, man. I still, I don't know what the fuck happened to that phone, no, dog. I'll never. I own everything I love, Ivan. When we get rich, I'm going to buy you a brand new fucking iPhone, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna bro. Buy, That's going to be on me, bro. Yeah. Dead ass. Yo, Ivan, I'm going to buy you a new phone. He looked out, bro. He looked out. He got a motorcycle now, apparently. <laughs> now, is he trying to sell that shit, too? This motherfucker was trying to sell everything. If you drive, and he was like, the Magnum, I'll fucking sell you the brands. I'll fucking. <laughs> Yo, if you ride a motorcycle, bro, if you fucking ride a motorcycle here in Florida, you're fucking ballsy. That's all I got to say. If you ride a motorcycle on I-4, which is literally the most dangerous stretch of highway in the fucking nation, you got balls the size of a bull. Like, Yeah, bro, that ass. Yeah. That's, it's different. I be watching these motherfuckers. 
weaving in and out of traffic. I'm like, damn, <laughs> bitch, you moving, bro. Yo, Spider Man. But one of these little fucking centrists switches lane at the wrong time, bro. Yeah. You're fucked. You're gonna be fucked. You're gonna be like fucking. I don't know. I feel like I feel like a pizza man would be nice on a motorcycle if they had the little thing in the back. Nah, bitch, don't bring me my pizza on a motorcycle. That shit's gonna be cold as fuck by the time you get to me. All that air hitting that shit. Nah, all that exhaust flying up on my shit. I'm, nah, hell nah, bro. Bring me my shit in the car, bro. Bring the fuck up. What if you pulled up in a scooter or some shit? What the fuck, bro? I'll be like, yo, I don't nah, want it's this whatever, shit. It's whatever. I'm I don't want this shit. shit. I don't want this shit. Take it, bro. Take this motherfucking piece of shit pizza. I remember Jimmy Johns when I worked in Ocala, bro. They used to come on a bike. Yeah, they yeah they used like, to do that too in downtown. Yeah, like, yeah. like I like that though. But yeah. it's like it's like damn bitch, bro. Sweaty fucking ass. subs on your sweaty ass back all the way here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then they fucking bro. Sometimes they they get here quick as fuck. Yeah, nah, it's like y'all. Yeah, uh, nah, nah. You had this shit ready before I called. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, and. Man, it's ridiculous. Nah, bro, they're, they're they freaky. Fast, Some, sometimes real, there was people that that died though, <laughs> like riding down the fucking street. Oh yeah, by. I'm sure somebody's gotten hit a few fucking times <laughs> trying to Jimmy John their way to their fucking house. That's a whack ass job. I'm sorry. They get paid good, bro. They get paid decent, and they don't. You don't go far. Yeah, like, you don't. You and there's don't. like five of y'all, so like you might have like two orders. You go pedal. You have like five orders. sticks. You know what I mean? You just yeah, yeah. You go fucking hit stick. You fucking <laughs> pedal to the other one. You go back to the store, pick up three more subs, go back, whatever. I'll have like a. Cool but I'd be tired backpack. as fuck halfway through the day. I'd be like, yo, bro, let me make the subs, bro. You go fucking ride this bike, bitch. Yeah, nah. Like big fat ass riding, pedaling through the fucking <laughs> downtown, nigga. Them big ass hills. <laughs> They be having the professional <laughs> bikes too, like the skinny wheels and shit. Like, yeah, they get like they get bought those bikes. I don't think those are their bikes. No, nah, I think you gotta provide your own bike. Bro. I don't know. Nah, I but think like the work. Like, I, I, they, I don't know, bro. I don't know hey, either. If, yeah, y'all let either. us know. But if you have to provide that, if you have to bring your own bike, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, nah, <laughs> I'm gonna just make the subs. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, it's fuck. too much. I really jobs. don't want to pedal, and you making me buy a bike now. You ever watch the show Dirty Jobs? <laughs> When these motherfuckers would be like, yo, just going through shit and fucking picking up shit and doing crazy Listen, stuff man. for money, man. I was like, holy no, fuck. Uh, uh, they get jobs. paid well, but it's like, are you willing to do that to get paid that good? It's like, no. Are you like, I yeah, remember I there was one that, episode, there was some where I was like, y'all are just bitching. Like, this job ain't that bad. But yeah. there was some jobs where I was like, I was like nigga, oh, never shit. in my life. There was this one job where you had a put on like some overalls and step in like a pool of like human shit yeah and i was like hell no <laughs> yeah. bro you got me fighting all the guys were like this is part of the fucking job and i was like part of the fucking job that's part of the reason i quit bitch get the fuck out of here <laughs> that's part of the fucking reason why i'm never going there god damn bro i i just don't understand it i just can't do it bro you ever seen the one that you're crushing the goddamn fucking cranberries and shit you're like god damn with their bare fucking crusty toes and shit i never understand that shit bitch and that's really how you make that shit hell no nah, i never drink cranberry juice in my life again that's that's bro cranberry bro it's fresh freshly crushed <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. the crusty toe crush ja the, the toe jam bitch <laughs> fuck out of here fucking toe jam nah but listen man johnny boy do you feel like you could be friends with a girl and not have sex with him like be <laughs> best friends with a girl and not have sex with him yeah they, <clears throat> i feel like I got a couple friends that are females that that are like that. That are like real, like just straightforward. Just we talk, we communicate very well. But Facts. does it cross my mind? I'm I gonna, mean, I'm gonna yeah, be honest. Exactly. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like if 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 it yeah, it crosses my mind sometimes. But will I do it? Probably not. My dog's waiting for you to say no. Nah. The door's open. <laughs> nah, so I'm you just gonna fucking slide in that bitch like a creep. Nah, hell no. <laughs> Fuck no, like a creep in the fucking door, bitch. Like, creep in the fucking night. No, 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 no. Nah, listen. Nah, I, I don't think so. You know I don't, it depends on the woman. It depends. It just yeah, depends. I agree. I think that I I haven't and I should have. That's how I'm gonna put it. Like now, yes, I could be friends I could be friends with a girl and not have sex with them. Back when I was younger, I 
like I was friends with best friends with girls for a little bit and ended up having sex with them and it was like shit just changes bro it yeah really changes. that's the thing that's it the changes problem. everything it does bro because i don't care what anybody says one of y'all is gonna catch feelings yeah and it's just like ah it's a tough situation because it's like you know what's gonna happen and if, if you know yourself very well which i know myself pretty well like you'll I'm, fuck all of them no that, <laughs> <laughs> no that's not what I was, I was trying to lead on to. I was trying to say that, like, I know myself pretty well, and I don't, I don't want to continue and and also engage in something that's just going to waste my energy and waste time. My dog, y'all, listen, round of applause to you. That was the best fucking slip and slide out of, the, out of a situation I've ever seen. Like, yeah, I mean, it was just the truth coming out, and then he said what I said in an eloquent way. Yeah. <laughs> Very, 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 very subtle and very, very. Uh, it's not orange, it's peach, baby. Yeah, we orange up in here. Well, I'm Florida Gators. Let's go. Gators you ever seen the guy that got the guy that fucking repeats these girls? Hey, I'm Charlie. I'm going to Charlie State California College. Go Hampson. And then he fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what the fuck this nigga is talking about. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to show you videos on TikTok. This guy mimics these fucking girls that are like, hey, I'm going to fucking Alabama State College. Fucking go get it. These girls are fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Yo, TikTok is crazy, man. And you know what? The internet's undefeated. Because you can do whatever the, the fuck. The funniest you, thing in the fucking world. They don't care what you're going through, what just happened. <laughs> They're going to shit on you every time. Yo, people, bro, anything can happen to you that day. And you can just bro. fucking, someone would just comment some shit that's just going to be like, yo. Nah, that ass, like, no, nah, for real. Like, all, sometimes it's super funny and sometimes it's just like, nah, like, that's too far. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that ass, like, this person's parent just died. Like, relax. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, like shit relax, like that. Bro, like, but there's other shit where it's like. Yeah, like, 6 9 was like, yo, we just smoked your homie <laughs> in the fucking backwood after his homie just passed away. Like, you're wildin', bro. No, but he don't give a fuck about his life. If we want to get into that, I don't think we do, but. In my opinion, he, he don't he don't really care about his life. Like he knows he knows the situation that he's gotten himself into, and I feel like he's okay with that. Yeah, <clears throat> like for real, I feel like he's okay with. Like he doesn't give a fuck about dying. Yeah, because nowadays you can you can just pay for security and you're good. As but, long as you got security, you're good. Nah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I watched uh, the last interview he did with he did an interview with Wack 100. I watched the whole thing, and. Uh, like they both make really, really good points. Like Six Nine was arguing about why he snitched, and then Wack One Hundred was telling him why he's never been a gangster, like why you would never gangster then. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because he's like gangsters don't tell. If a gangster gets kidnapped and he gets let loose, he's gonna go kidnap and kill some shit. Yeah, he ain't gonna go to the police. Yeah. So they were having that discussion and shit, but he was talking about Six Nine was like, "Nigga, I haven't had security in nine months." He's like, I run into all these rappers. And I feel like that's his objective. Like, he's gotten to the point where he's like, you know what, bro? Y'all calling me a bitch and a snitch? Well, I'm going to prove to all of y'all that half of y'all favorite rappers a bitch-ass nigga. And yeah. he's starting to do that. I'm not going to lie. He did that with Meek. Yeah. Because Meek was running his mouth for real. He was like, when I run into you, rah, 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 rah. He ran into him. He waited for Meek. What did Meek do? Have security around him. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So he's yeah. like, so what are we talking about now? Like what? There's a double standard. I understand that part, but I also understand Wack 100, where he was like, "Bro, like, that's why you're a civilian. <laughs> like, you were never a gangster. Yeah, like, you were, you were just, never. You just, were just a kid that was put in a situation that you should have never been in. Yeah, bro. Straight the fuck and, up. And, and yeah, you got money, you're chilling, but like, you just always got to watch over your shoulder, now. You always got to watch over your shoulder, regardless. But in his situation, it's bad. Like, because niggas really want to hurt you, bro. Like, it's different when you put people away for a hundred years. Yeah, for a hundred years. Because if it's you like, were the person stuck in a cell for a hundred years and you were riding for this kid. Because not that's the other thing about it. Not everybody that he snitched on fucked him over. Yeah. Like, you, we can't play that narrative. Yeah. Because he wants to make it seem, oh, well, shawty fucked my baby mama. Nigga, that's one person out of 20 people you snitched on. What did the other 19 niggas do to you? No, apparently it was like a gang man. Bro, but anyways, I don't believe that shit. But that, anyways, in like, my opinion, being but, being out of your element is 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 just important. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and that's like, part of it. He like, was out of his element. That's why you got to be in your element, bro. It's important to be in your element and feeling comfortable in your element. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, like 
this right here to us guys, this is our fucking element. Like this is where we feel the most comfortable. We come in here, we talk shit, we kick it. This is where we, we brainstorm. At. You know what I'm saying? We feel good. It's a good aura. You know what yeah, I mean? Whenever we come in vibe. here. Yeah. The, the background and shit should let you know the type of vibe that we fucking got in here for real. Like, this is really the vibes that we got. This is peaceful vibes. You know so we're going like, to come in here and this is where we're going to we're gonna come for peace, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a big it's a big deal, bro. Like, you got to have that place, that special place, that place that you call, like, the safe zone. Yeah, facts. Dead ass, bro. Facts. And it's different for everybody, bro. Like... Some people, it might be, you know what I'm saying, going out to the woods, that's your safe to the zone, beach. like to the beach, to, you know what I'm saying, just <clears throat> listening to a different type of music and zoning out, going in your backyard. Like, people just get away in different ways. Taking a hike or you know some shit. Saying? Like, yeah. There's different ways of doing it, but I feel like that's super important, bro. Having a place where it's like, bro, I feel like I'm in my element. I'm able to be myself for real. You know what I'm saying? And I have to fucking... Natural habitat. Yeah, yeah. natural habitat. Facts. Yeah, like cause, fucking Cause you're not changing This is who you are And this is This is what it is And Nothing could change that bro Don't let anybody change you man Facts Facts I mean Change for the better bro Like we were yeah. talking about earlier Exactly Like change yeah. it, There's only two ways of changing You either change for the worse Or change for the better If you're gonna change Something about yourself Make sure that it's not something that Just somebody wants you to change Just cause they don't like it Like if it's something that's That could be a problem It's, it's actually something that's a problem Like Try to change it. You know what I'm saying? Change for the better. But yeah. you're right. Like, don't let nobody try to mold you into what they want you to be. Like, be yourself. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't hurting nobody, you, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be yourself, bro. Like, just be yourself. Be yourself, bro. And we always say that, man. Um, and follow your heart, bro. Follow your heart. You know what man. I mean? Because sometimes your brain will leave you. Them know? truly's is talking to my boy, bro. Yeah, them truly's is fucking talking to him. He, he, follow your heart. Follow your goddamn heart, bro. Listen to Do- your heart. <laughs> And I'm running for you. Yeah, that was bro. a hey, round of applause, man. Nah, I don't know bro. what the fuck we be nah, doing. Nah, that frog one. The nah, I'm ding, man. I'm ding, I'm dying, man. Oh, that's not. I'm, 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 that's not a frog one, bro. That's there was like a frog a dancing crazy. around. Crazy. That's the blue uh, man. It's the blue man group, right? Blue man group. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. But there was tripping. like a, a frog. I don't know if I'm tripping, but there was a frog in one of these like commercials. <laughs> It was like <laughs> Nah there was a video There's like a bunch of songs Where like they used to make This frog dance to him I think it was Crazy Frog Crazy Frog yeah yeah Crazy Frog is that shit Yeah crazy yeah frog. That was And we back. dropping We dropping fucking OG knowledge on y'all right now Y'all probably might not Never heard of that God but damn Yeah go check that shit out But listen man We appreciate everybody That's rocking Liking Sharing Subscribing Don't forget Hit the notification bell So you're notified Every time we drop Every time And listen man Go down in the description Get yourself some merch What are we doing guys Like come on now Just buy a shirt or something Buy your dog a fucking hoodie Or whatever Buy him a hoodie Give him something Yeah That's all you gotta do That's all you gotta do But listen man We'll catch you on the next one Peace of love Peace of love Peace of love